Hey everybody, I'm back. Uh, I'm going to do a two-part video here. I'm going to be changing the hammer spring in this as part of a trigger job type um, project that I'm going to do. So um, I'm going to show you guys how to do it. Uh, on this first part, I'm going to do the disassembly. I don't have my new hammer spring yet. It's supposed to be here tomorrow. Uh, it's actually a trigger rebound spring from a Smith & Wesson revolver with a reduced power, 13 pound. I've used it before in the SAR B6P. Other people have used it in the SARS and the witnesses and whatnot. It's a great spring that's a direct swap for this factory spring. So uh, I'm going to get right to it. So I don't know how much talking I'll do, but I'm going to show you step by step. So the first thing I'm going to do is get that slide off. So we're going to line up those circles on there. I'm going to use that mag base, push that takedown pin out, take our slide off. We won't be needing that. So if we look here in the frame, there's a long straight leg of that spring right here that's sticking up so I need to use something uh, I'm going to try a flathead screwdriver but I don't know if that's going to work nope. so I think I'm going to try a pick tool I'm going to get that spring up and then there's a detent notch We're going to try a precision screwdriver. That works. Okay, I don't know if that's going to show up. There you can see it. So there's a notch cut right here. And what you do is you pry that leg up and set that on there. And that, what that does is it takes tension off the safety and then it allows you to push the safety out. So I should be able to find a spot on this safety. Here it comes. So you just grab it and start prying it. And then it comes free. And you can see I have it out now. So there is the safety. So I'm going to set the safety down. Now I should be able to cock the hammer and get the sear cage out. You can see it's starting to lift right there. There it goes. So that just kind of jumped out of there. But um, you can see the spring is still captured. You can see it sticking up really well right there actually. And now the sear cage is out. So now you just have to uh, drift out that pin that's a roll pin right there you just have to drift that out so we're gonna put that on the block and drift that out and then we'll be able to get our hammer assembly out. I've seen where guys take rubber band and wrap it around the beaver tail with the hammer cocked like this that's not I don't know that's like a hair tie for my one of my kids Let's see if we can get that to work. I'm not going to worry about it. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just knock that pin out. So I'm going to use, I think that's going to be a 16. So we're going to use a small 16th punch. Put it right on the edge of that roll pin. It's moving. It's moving. There you can see it coming out right here. And there it went. Okay, so I'm going to keep that there. I'm going to retract the hammer. I'm going to let that out. Now I should be able to pull this, this whole hammer assembly is going to come out. I 
There it goes. So now I'm gonna set the frame aside and I'm gonna leave that pin sticking out like that. <clears throat> and then this is under spring tension um, that way. And all you need to do is just hold down on that hammer and push that uh, that pin out right there. That's a larger. I remember that being a solid pin on my um, SAR. But if you look right here you can see the hammer spring down in there. So I'm going to try doing this without shooting it across the room. There it moved. So I'm just going to hold tension like this, try and guide that punch. See there, you see that? That's the hammer pin starting to come out. This punch is one eighth. There, I felt the hammer come out. Maybe not, it's close. I'm going to let that pin go between my fingers like this. I'm going to hold that down again. There we go. Here's the pin. And now you can see it's captured by the punch. I'm going to push down on that hammer. Pull that punch out. And then my hammer is going to come free. There's the strut. See how short that hammer strut is right here? If you're used to like Sig Sours and Berettas and stuff, it runs all the way down the back strap. And there's our hammer spring. So part two of the video, I'll uh, unpackage the new hammer spring and we'll compare it to this one. And we'll see how much of a difference there is on that. And we'll put the whole thing back together and check out the trigger and see what we think. Thanks for watching.